It is now Tuesday, June 9th, and since this video is going up in two days, it's probably a good time for me to announce the results of my survey. For those who didn't take it, I had three big questions. The first is about the gown I'm going to make for my mini dress form. The dress with the highest votes will be made according to the instructions in the Victorian Dressmaker book from Prior Attire. It won't be my very next project because I kind of have to save up and order materials, but it will be on deck for later this year. The second question I asked was, which time period would you be most interested in seeing? The answer with the highest number of votes will be my next big personal historical project. Well, at least the next one I'm going to start. I'm planning on starting a completely new ensemble from undergarments outward, and I tend to go all out, so it might take a while. If I ever do decide to make a Patreon, I would post updates on that dress regularly, but as it is, you probably won't see any video footage of that dress until at least 2021. The third question I asked was, which of the following types of projects would you be interested in seeing featured on my YouTube channel? That was a mouthful. Depending on what the winner is, my goal is to complete a project based off of whatever project had the highest number of votes before the end of the year. Three big projects starting this year probably doesn't sound like a big deal for a lot of people, but those feel like pretty lofty ambitions for me. Especially given how many videos I have planned this year that have been filmed but not edited yet. Alright, ready? With 43.82% of the vote, the dress I'll be recreating from the Victorian dressmaker is... The 1884 Evening Gown. I am so excited for this. That was the dress that was featured in the first blog post of hers that I read, and it's so beautiful and I just can't wait to work on it. I'm so excited I accidentally keep bumping into my table and just moving my phone back and forth, so sorry. Alright, question two. My next big historical project will be inspired by the... Early Edwardian era. So that's early days, we're talking like early 1900s pigeon breasts, all that. It had 44.57% of the vote, and I am surprised and thrilled that it won. Maybe if I get my act together enough, I will be able to arrange a way for you guys to vote on certain aspects of the dress, like the color or the trims or something. Let me know that's something you'd be interested in in the comments. All right, question three. With an impressive 67.43% of the vote, the type of video you most want to see involves history bounding, both the design and the sewing process. It's gonna be interesting because that's not really something I've really done too much of, but I feel like I'm already getting ideas, so that one's gonna be fun. Honestly, all the results for this one were pretty close, so I feel like I'm gonna have a pretty big to-do list. Thank you to everyone who participated in my survey. I got a lot more responses than I expected. And I am just so grateful and humbled that you care enough to vote on what I'm planning on doing. Well, now I have to finish editing a video and start planning. Let me know which project you're most excited for in the comments. Uh, make sure you subscribe so that when I do eventually make all that stuff, you'll be able to know. And I guess I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Somebody's barking. What is she barking at? What is it, Maisie? Is there a monster in there? Is there a doggy? What is it? Oh, it's a garbage can that fell over. That's not normal. You're weird. <laughs>